through Monday, December 11th, 2017. Our first quarter business as usual is approval of minutes. The printed agenda may just have the December 4th minutes, which uh, was presided over by uh, over myself and over here. And there's also the budget workshop uh, minutes of Saturday, which are very brief. So, okay, Jody and I are fine with December 4th. Are we all fine with the budget workshop? Okay, so by consensus, we're good. A community input. Sir, are you here to speak with us? Uh, yeah, so my name is Dominic LaBelle. Um, I didn't want to introduce myself beforehand or anything. I figured I'd wait until we were open and uh, That's fine. Yeah. But uh, in any case, my name is again Dominic. I work with a company called Granite Apollo Solar. Okay. Um, we are brand new. We just incorporated uh, this past summer. Actually, I think it might have even been early fall. It's, uh, it's a very recent development. But uh, we've been searching around looking for uh, sites, for possible sites for a uh, large-scale solar project um, all, of, all throughout New Hampshire and uh, pouring over Google Earth, pouring over uh, towns that have their tax maps posted online. Um, we identified some land that uh, is here in town in Rollinsburg um, that looked really interesting to us, kind of fit our criteria of um, what we'd be looking for. So. I, uh, I put in a call to your town clerk uh, late yeah. last week, I believe it was Thursday or Friday, um, just asking about some land, hoping that I get some more information. And uh, I was pointed in your direction that any land conversations about um, land owned by the town should be gone through the select board. So i um, here now to kind of initiate that. Um, so the, the land that I'm talking about, just to give you guys a, a frame of reference here, um, it is right near the transfer station and landfill. Um, so the shaded area here is, and it would not be uh, necessarily all of that, but that's the land that we're interested in and that kind of fits our criteria. I also have a, a tax map here with highlighted the three parcels that um, the town owns that we would be interested in talking about. So I mostly was just uh, hoping to get some information from you guys about uh, what the town is using that for right now. There's about 160 acres there. I know a good portion of that is likely the transfer station. Pardon? Bunny Habitat. Well, yes, it also is under a conservation easement. Are you aware of that? I was. That's why I'm here, though. Just to yeah, I actually think most of the land there that is not currently used by the transfer station is under conservation easement okay. now. Caroline, who has information on that, just so that we can confirm that? Or? Um, I would direct them to the Conservation Commission. Conservation Commission. OK, so if you um, if you send me your then I will uh, send you a link to the Conservation Commission. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so I really, the, this is Are you thinking very about a solar, open-ended. A solar farm? Uh, yeah, but conservation land isn't something that we would want to mess with. No, but I'm just, I'm just, that. right, right, I'm just curious about what you're, you're talking about a yeah. solar farm, right? Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. Sort of like what Durham has done. And, I mean, yeah, similar. Mm -hmm. um, so we basically, you put the solar panels up uh, in a field and then selling the power to a large business or yeah. a city, something like that. Yeah. Um, but if, if that lands in under conservation easement, I totally get that. And that's yeah. not something that we have any intentions on messing with. Um, well, I'm, I'm a anyway. for yeah. myself. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. I totally yeah. appreciate uh, yeah. a lot of conservation. I went to school up in the mountains and um, I love the little ones. But uh, in, in any case, I really just hope you have it. So it's like, kind of like too bad, because like, yeah, otherwise it's going to be an interesting conversation. Yeah, and that was. The, the two parts were hoping to get some more information about that. I assumed you guys would likely know about that. Mm -hmm. That's usually not just falling under a lot of slack. Yeah, that is, it is our limit. I, I wasn't aware that it was quite that large. But what would yeah. be our minimum uh, acre so far? Um, I mean, it, it varies uh, based on how flat and dry it is. So um, if the land's flat and dry, 50, 60 acres. Um, if uh, it's rocky and hilly and there's some wetlands in there, we don't, we don't want to mess with wetlands either. Um, but our, our goal is to our goal is to upset as few people as possible. Um, so we, we want to work with uh, landowners and towns that want to work with us. And, um, so we don't want to mess with wetlands. We don't want to mess with conservation land. Um, but if it was hilly and rocky, we'd probably need more than that just because we wouldn't be able to build on those areas. Um, but. Flat dry land. We have a piece of 
conservation land that's uh, currently um, in the um, commercial zone off of Greenview Drive, Turk Cutfield. Mm, yes. Just huge. Small. No, it's, it's, it's got to be. Uh, it's, it's 40, 40 acres. Yeah. That would, that would definitely be worth. Uh, so that's not under conservation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you, uh, how can we uh, show him, the, how can we identify this? You can look at it on the maps. It's so what, are, what I've mostly been doing is uh, using Google Earth and Google Maps and then yeah. checking back on town tax maps and kind of using landmarks and kind of combining the two a little bit. Caroline, who's our administrative assistant, would be happy to show you the land in question. I would really appreciate that. Right. More like and I will area. send you the Conservation Commission address and uh, you know, back and chat with us. If, in right. Turcotte Field might have yeah. some interest. I really appreciate you guys talking to me in the meantime, though. And, well, uh, I wish you the best of luck. That's what it is. It's about there. Okay. This is basically fire. And then the so, so, so just kind of follow Caroline and she'll show you the items. I will do that. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. I appreciate my time today. Take care. Um, and I'm hopeful I get back to you. That would be nice. All right. Take care. Thank you. She's a class. She, yeah, kind of go out, you go out that you door. You grab my jacket. Any, any other community input? Yes, Nancy. Yes. I have something to read in. Um, here's a copy. I have two copies right now. I have two copies right now of each one that I'll be reading in. And as soon as I get done reading it, I will left. So you're going to read it? Is that what you're saying? Unless you want to read it. Well, you can read it. Okay. To the select board, pursuant to 91A, I am requesting within five business days all monies paid to employees, including but not limited to gross wages, taxes, such as FICA and MA, retirement payments, cost of medical benefits, not to disclose the coverage such as individual, two-person, or family plans, etc., et and any other monies paid to employees. Why don't you read in the other one? We'll, we'll just okay. And the other one is pursuant to 91A within five business days, I'm requesting the 2016 auditors report, including the management letter. The financial statements are on the website. Yes. Nancy, did you hear me? The financial statements are on the website. I was asking for it in hand. That was all. I'll check with the municipal association. I okay. It's just generally available. It's generally available. So you, what you're saying is you'd be willing to print, pay for the printing costs? Is that? Sure. What is it? A dollar page? I think that's what we. Mm -hmm. It's about. It's about 50 pages. Sure. Okay. Do you want to know for sure how many pages? No. Okay. They're all on the website. They're back to 2013. Isn't it? So I'm not sure I fully understand the scope of this other request. It's the total compensation of each employee under 91A. I, I don't know how it's different from what I've handed out. And I'm serious. I don't know how it's different. We've handed out to you the the their the wages that they've earned to date in 2017 and all of their wages in 2017. So I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. I don't know that we could hand out like the FICA per employee. I don't believe we can do that. I could check. The school did. That's why I was asking. Per employee, how much the gross? Yeah. 
It just came in that so school packet. So what period of time? It doesn't sound, this isn't clear. One week? A pay period? One pay period? What? Uh, let's do 2017 to date. So you, we have 2017 today, but we don't have is the FICA piece. I don't know what you mean by MA. You mean Medicare? We're not going to. I don't. We're not going to provide the cost of medical benefits. Not by an individual. I'm just not going to do that. I'm not even sure that we can do retirement payments, but I'll check. I'll check to make sure that it's okay for us. To, you know, to, to do that. But otherwise, it's, it is what we handed out. So what it would be, so that it, you would have some... It's the same thing that they give out that we just got in our 2019. Do you have that with you? No, I didn't bring it. I thought there might be another copy. But it's a, it's a spreadsheet of everything that okay. the individual teacher gets. Okay, I'll take a look at that. Okay. It's it's on the website. Yes, but it, it it's under the select board page. But I'm I've heard you say that you are willing to have us print it out. If I can't find it on the yeah. It's on a select board page, right? Bring it up. Okay. 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 I just assume we get our information all at once from the web page. It's kind of like why we uh, bother to do it. So we can have everything available to everybody, or whatever we can. But. Uh. Bottom of the select board page is this annual financial statements. So, do you want me to hold off printing? Yep, I'll go home and look at it later. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? All right. Okay, department heads. Hi, George. Hey, Caroline. Are we okay? Yeah. You want to go for it? Yeah, me too. Good evening. How did your first weekend of snow go? Rather well with a few glitches, but we took care of it. Okay, very good. We had an issue with a couple of wings that had some issues Thank you. <coughs> we uh, have a couple of appeals. Uh, I have a appeal for that temperature sensor for the trucks. Yes. What do we? I have an appeal for five hundred fifty dollars. I have to get it for up in uh, Lewiston for the lighting of the truck. So is this something that you know, we will install ourselves? Right. Could you do by credit card or what is no, the actually, value that we set up an account? Okay. So we will make an invoice us if we were to sign this yep, PO yep, yep. in this month. We we will have this. I call them tomorrow and have you check it right out. It's in stock. Okay, so let's chat. Let's 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 hand, hand it to Michael and, and we'll read this into the record. Purchase order number 987 to Viking 
Sieves. Okay. Viking what? C I V E S. Sieves. Sieves. Viking sieves. Uh, for a one road watch temperature uh, kit uh, for five hundred and fifty dollars. Second. Okay. That item is for uh, road temperature. To accurately put out salt when necessary. So, when we first brought this up, the chipper line in the, under the okay. sanitation, under the transfer station, uh, had seven hundred dollars that we are not using because of the chipper contractor PO. So we can uh, take this from the that line. Okay. We'll cover it. We won't move the budgets around at this point, but yeah, yeah, that would cover it. You see the line? Okay. Yeah. We had a transfer station. Yeah. Which truck are you hoping to put it on? I'm going to put it on the truck I got this, this smaller, the smaller truck. Okay. So I, I get around a lot of easier shit. Yeah, the area is open. Uh, okay. So the, we if you look at this year, so 3,500, yeah. I think we had a purchase order. Yeah, 28. 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 Yeah, Sense. So, uh, is this something you're anticipating for all the trucks, or you just need it for one vehicle? No, I think if and when we can get a pickup, I'll probably put one on there. Okay. So, we can screw around two sides. Right. It's not, I don't believe it's necessary in all the trucks. It's, okay. you know, after we know the road temperatures, basically. It is truck I drive is pretty much all over it anyway, right. so we're getting the good temperature. So, it's going to go on the 550? Yeah, we're going to put it on the 550. George, I don't know how much is left of salt in the salt chain. Do we have enough to get us through the 31st? I would hope we have enough to get us through the end of January. Wow. Great. So, wonderful. That'll be another conversation in a few minutes. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, as it, as it is, though, there is money in yeah. the chipping yeah. line. So, again, we're not just to conceptually cover it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And well, we did, we did put... Just so that you know, we did bring some budget monies down from somewhere early on, to, so that it's actually twenty nine thousand, I think, twenty eight thousand in that in the salt line. You're not seeing it there because that wasn't the purpose of that report. But let me bring something up. Do you mind? Uh, if I... It's okay. You don't have to. Oh, all right. We've seen it. Yeah. yeah. So a, a billion it's the times. quarter three. Yeah. yeah. Look at the quarter three. Yeah. All right. Well, are we ready to call the question board? All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 I'm just going to put the total down here, George. Shipping is extra. Okay. okay. And, and it may not be. You didn't have it on there, but I'll just I think it's shipping. Be yeah. I was going to run up and grab it, <laughs> but with the weather coming in. And I was thinking of grabbing another while we had another pot that we broke that we found and we paid more we so I didn't have to run up the Portland. So. so if you don't go to Portland, do you have to go to Concord for these parts? Or are those the two places for the plow parts? Uh, that's HP. We could go either way. Uh, HP Portland has, Yeah, they usually have the plow parts in Portland more right. than they would, yeah, they would in Concord. It's about the same distance anyway. Right. We're going to drive by to get no things at the same time. That's why we can have them ship this down. It's not a big package. So. I'm just admiring the gentleman's business card. Nice. The other thing has been an ongoing issue with the fuel gauge on the back home. It's never been repaired. And we looked at it and we figured we could fix it just to replace it. The sending unit on it. Okay. I got a price for sending unit of two seventy plus shipping at each at Chadworth to pay the cost of the machine we bought. Two hundred and seventy. Yeah. I don't want to wait on it. Can I? I mean, something can wait till next year if you want to, uh, but that was just a thought. George, I know you weren't here, but why couldn't Chadworth do that? They were out here a billion times. It's not like I know. <laughs> And answer that question. I know you can't, so and I appreciate it. I was it. told that they would have to lift the cab up to fix it. Which leads me to another question. I mean, are we confident that that really is the problem if they've been out with the wires broken? Why is it broken on the sending unit, and it can't be repaired? It's almost positive that's the issue of it. Can, can, well, can you find out what the November 11th cost expenses are for the equipment line? Or vehicle or both. 
and I'm going to look up the quarter for you. Sure. I just want to um, remind. There's a five hundred and seventy-five dollar check. Is that what? Line. There's a five hundred and seventy-five dollar check in that line tonight. So, so you know, whatever you're finding the balance to be, it's five seventy-five more than that because it's close. That line's close. I just want to make you aware of that. We were writing a check for five hundred and seventy-five. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, we still. Thank you for that. I mean, this doesn't have to happen now. We can well, let's, let's, let's take a peek. Um, so, highways and streets. So, the equipment budget is at $6,800. And we've expended... And what is, what is the expense? Okay, we're going to put that six seventy four. So we're pretty much fully expended on that. And then the vehicle. You're over by ten thousand. Vehicle equipment. Uh, yes. So, but we've rebudgeted it at twenty two thousand. And the expense is nineteen. Two five three. So we've got not quite three thousand. What did Caroline say? Five seventy-five. Five seventy-five. And this this is two seventy. Yeah. Okay. New okay. okay. purchase order number nine eight eight to Chadwick Bay Ross for one fuel gauge sending unit for two hundred and seventy dollars. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Yes, again, try to get their invoice here ASAP. They have to audit, which I don't know how long they can okay. control it. As soon as, as soon as possible. Even then, it's not, but you should do their next regular audit. Okay. We just have to make sure it's invoiced before the end of the year. So as much as possible. Out. If it's like the first I'll week, know. you know, there's some leeway, but after a while, <coughs> our auditor doesn't you know, want us to take it out of the new year. Okay, there we go. You want me to hold off on the box just a little longer? Yes, maybe. Yeah, you always know, keep us busy, anyway. Okay. <laughs> uh, <coughs> plowing, I, I heard wonderful things all weekend. Um, the only thing I did hear is that plowing behind the uh, the historical home on Water Street. What was that? Thank you. Uh, I guess they usually push that snow back. Yes. Did you already hear about I, that? No. Okay. But the reason it wasn't pushed back is the yard's not frozen yet, and I didn't want to push half the gravel up into the yard yet. Yeah. Oh, very good. So I just did the plow when we get off the hot dog. Okay. <laughs> Less damage. It wasn't going to last that long, so. Yeah. No, that sounds like good. I, so input, I, you know, that's what I want to hear. But yeah. It, you may get a call on that. Um, yeah. but I, I understand it's supposed to be pushed back in the parking areas. You know. Okay. Oh, yeah. But I didn't want to do any damage that didn't need to do. Okay. Sounds good. I was wondering about putting a, at, at no cost, a then the salt for the residents outside the salt shed in the area of the transfer station sign. We, in order to make it available? For, Correct. Yeah, in the past we've done that for salt, I mean for sand. No, and all we we'll do is we we'll get the blocks that were the retaining blocks they had, they got to stack them in the transfer station. Just put a few blocks and then cover it with a top so it stays, you know, no wash up. Do you just want to get permission for it? How big would this bin be? Probably eight by eight. You know, it's just not to, not to load a pickup truck out of it. We'll make sure, we'll make sure there's not a lot of... Yeah, I think that's out. the only... I mean, that's a concern I might have is that no one is, like, absolutely preloading on... No, it's not going to be enough in there for anyone to haul away. It's just enough to make those buckets. So, and we can keep an eye on it, throw it as it needs it. There's no sense, you know, have an open gate, leave the gates open, and it's all shit. So we can get it all the way. Mm-hmm. Good work. Good work. Yep. Yep. Thank you.
We appreciate that. Uh, we're getting back to the class we went to on salt. Yes. Uh, and they can grind. Yes. Uh, we can build a system ourselves, make grind for about ten or eight hundred dollars. Buy a pump that's already had a tank on its farm that he wasn't using. He gave us. We want to build by another small tank that we can mix the grind in and transfer it to this tank and put a spreader bar on it, put it on a trailer and pre-treat the roads prior to the storm. It takes about two and a half pounds of salt to make quite a bit of grind. And I think we'd be at people that are using it uh, saving, like I said before, about 40 to 50 percent of this. Well, they must be saving. I mean, Dover continues to and, do it. And so more people building, building the systems and doing it. We don't need a big system. We don't have a lot of roads. I wasn't playing on pre-treating all the roads, the trouble areas, the main drags, around the school, you know. We figure we can treat with 150 gallons of brine. We measure what it takes a little mile, you know, eight miles. I wrote that wide so we could treat down the middle instead of each individual lane and have it melting off. So we can, have, we can get most of the equipment at uh, tractor supply. It's not a lot of, you know, we figure up to $800 is maximum that we build the system. Would uh, so, would this be one purchase order? Is this one no, provider? It's going to be a bunch of. Yeah, you know, like, we don't have an account with them, so we'd probably be, you know, buying a patch. I know the one you want to check out, you want to credit card or whatever, but I know that's what it is. But uh, we need to get a tank and a pump and, you know, the hoses and stuff. But. So, one, one way to think about this is. I mean, we could bother to take the t to look through the budget again to see if there's yet another 800, or we just say, well, let's let's expense it against 2018. That's fine. I mean, if, just... if it, you know, if it's going to save the 2018 largely salt budget, then and that, that's fine too. You know, I have no problem with that. So, so if the board is kind of in agreement with our sort of continuing down this path, so let's talk about how we could make it happen. So. Uh, if so, you've got like a couple of distinct parts. You've got a pump. No, we need to. We'll, we'll have to get a pump. But, right, that but I mean, right, but as far as you right. purchase a pump, so that's which would be roughly uh, for three, 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 uh, three to three and a half. Okay, so that's a purchase order. All right, so you can come in, and we could make it for twenty. I think we can make it for twenty eighteen. Okay. You know, we we're bringing up. Uh, we'll check with Tom. And then I get, a, get an open top tank so we can mix the stuff in. And then so is that like, when what's... I think that was a little over 100 so I'm not exactly okay, sure. Okay, see, that one you might be able to just pick up with your credit card, right? Okay. So... And then there's a little bit of hoses and nozzles and stuff like that. Okay. So PVC parts, parts so yeah. So that, those could all be right. credit card Maybe stuff. Maybe one valve to control it. Okay. Have. So why don't you bring us... We can get a complete list of what we need and do it that way. I mean, that yeah. would you know, we'll, we'll figure out all the parts we need and then just do it one lump sum if you want to do it that way. We, we could do it. It's nice to say that here's what we're authorizing. And then we could use that and note by credit card, by this or that. So, so that when the auditor all looks at it, he'll know that, yep, the board was fully on board. Yeah, we know that some things okay. are coming from here, some things are coming from there. I mean, I, I noticed. So if you could do PO and under the vendors just say various. Are you planning on trying to get it all from tractor supply, George? Or? Yeah, I'm, well, I'm hoping to get most of it there. I mean, they got quite a bit of the stuff right there. They may they may not have the right nozzles we want or anything right, like that. Right, right. Well, we're going to come separate. I got one. How does that help? If you're buying it all at once. Right, but as far I don't mean, you know, I want to set up a Practice like credit card. I mean, like that. So we can submit a purchase order to them, and they can. Got it. So we can. Yes. So yes. Can just do it all in one. Yes, one but with a purchase order, whether we, you could always take a purchase order to them too, and and if it's easier to set up an account, that's fine. Well, no, mm -hmm. but they would if they do that. Yeah, I think they're going to credit cards. Yeah. 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 
What about like uh, Elliot Small um, Engine? Can they, do they I don't think they, 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 they may have some of it, you know, and we really didn't look at We were looking at, you know, the, yeah. we were there. have an account with them, I think, right? right? So we can look at different places and see what you know. <coughs> That's a great idea. idea. They might have to better. Yeah. All right, so so I, I, I got myself confused. But I just want to, you know. So clearly we're we're supportive. Whether I mean I'm not sure how setting up an account well, helps, but I, I mean the purchase order is gonna say that we authorize the money being right. spent for that. How then then however happens. We can we can always get, refer to that. I'll get aids from this uh, number. Just what we really need. Okay. 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 Yeah, you're right. We just price it all out and write it one one check. Well, well, it, it it doesn't. So what I was thinking is the vendor would be various because that way it doesn't bind them to one vendor. But I think he's hoping to try to get it from one vendor. Yeah, I, the majority of it may come from them. You know, we just really just look into all the nods. And it's not going to take a lot of nods, but it's only one nod every ten. So, can the pump come from them? Yes. Can the tank come from them? Well, and are those the two biggest single pieces? Right. And, they have, and they also have a valve that like, So, I would suggest that you write a PO listing these, maybe the third big piece, and then, you know, assorted parts, okay. assorted associated parts, and whatever, with an estimate of <coughs> what that would be. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay. That works. I'm not going to give you this. This is mine. No, that's fine. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking the you know, but it's mine. So, All right. I'm done. Anything for me? Yes. Uh oh. Yeah, there's a couple things. I have some gate. Is the gate though? The gate coaster is, and it's coming this week. I was thinking tomorrow, but the weather may push it to the end of the week. Right. Excellent. And any movement on the trees? Not the chipping or the cutting? No, um, cutting down trees. The urban tree has looked at them. Unfortunately, we cannot get them here until January 12th. Is that scheduled? Right. He said he would bill us early if you want to. Well, it would. So, how would he do this? He would cut trees to the extent of the purchase order. He will cut up four thousand. He might the trees he's already going to cut. But right. the if we have a lot allocated, and maybe more because if we work All with right. him, if All we right. work with him chipping, we can do a lot more. Okay. And that's what our intent is to follow up and do the traffic control at the same time. Okay. All right. Let's do that. So this is like a contract. And so if Correct. we're doing a contract ahead of time, so yeah. I'm just trying to run through the rationale here. So yeah. But it should be done, you know, whether permitting you have them bill us. Yeah, schedule the twelfth. Yep. Yeah. It will go along with the PO that we have. All right. Okay. Well, we're on the topic of trees. Um, when I was driving around yesterday, um, I didn't realize how low. The trees are on Prospect Street, the overhanging. And more so with snow on them. Yeah. So it was very beautiful, but <laughs> <That happens. laughs> I have a very low car. And I they were was, hitting your car? They weren't hitting my car, but okay. it looked like it was no. definitely hitting the trees. We trucks. need to. So I mean, just put that Mike, in your summer I'll ask Mike if we had any issues when he plowed by him. Yeah. He thought the truck a lot higher, so. But yeah, that's always been an issue for me. I don't like getting hit in the windshield or bridge. Sure. So, any other concerns? Uh, the food drive at transfer station came up this week. Oh, yeah. So the board later on is going to discuss uh, whether or not. I thought we had already made a policy, but I couldn't find hide nor hair of it actually, about not allowing solicitation inside the transfer station. So solicit whether they're political solicitations or whether they're uh, you know nonprofit solicitations, they would be outside the transfer station. But but I couldn't find anything that said that we had done that, so I I, I discovered the minutes. But let's play it out. So if if the board would say yeah, it would be okay for this group to to set up shop inside the transfer station, it's a four H group, so there'd be some children. With the yeah, I mean, I, when I saw them in the emails, they did it last year and they probably put a warm up occasion on the yes. year. Yeah. So you saw those. All right. All right. So we'll talk about this again and we'll, we'll keep you posted on it. And the church issue, I 
I think that I will I originally sent something back. It is going to be an engineering issue on that shore, but I didn't see where it could have been the amount of water that was. And coal patch would not have to fix the problem, it was to solve so make sure nobody got hurt. That was over there. So, I mean, we didn't do anything major there because I want to know where you people want to go. Exactly. So we talked about that, and that's what we authorized you to do. So, that's fine. Well, I looked at it, and, and I just caught the green tarps thing, and I agree with them, and there was nothing that could have changed what's going on. The water's got to go somewhere, and it's all heading downhill, and it's all heading for that guy. Bring it up. Unless we do some strong drain, we need some stuff like that. It's not going to happen. It's the same house that issue for that. Yeah, that was the one this fall when we were in the transition of road agents. The EMA had gone out and realized that there's no catch basin along Church Street. Church Street. Church Street. Church Street. Church Street. Yeah. Um, and so it flows right onto. She's getting the project coming out of the river to Washington. She's getting the project coming down to the church. I mean, it's got no place to go unless we fly. That's just the result of the whole problem. Yeah. 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 Y
But other than that, like, have uh, you had a chance to touch base with Chris at Pike? Can yes, we actually did a ride by and check on. Uh, we both. did go look at both projects, and he's giving he's really saying that's a new call on uh, digging that section out that we talked about on yeah. the heritage. Yes. And finding out what the issue is in that section. The so part that like OB, at, at the, the beginning, you know where the oh yeah 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 I know, you know, I know. where it's uh, and uh, it's uh, settled. Actually, there's a lot of stuff that we can do to help save some money by cutting out a lot of the small patches that need to be done, and they said we can gravel them in, and he can kill bring them up to level where they're ready to pay you. Mm. So, like, like you know, a shoulder where there's a little bit of a wire, instead of having to run the grinder over everything, right? And then not reclaim the whole room because it isn't as bad on 90% of it. It's, yeah. you know, it's that section that needs to be a little bit. And the same thing down on wood glue and wood run. Uh, mm. Not reclaim the whole thing, but pretty much at the cul-de-sac on wood run. And okay. that first yeah. section, the rest of it yeah. all be overlaid. Do an overlay on that? Okay, so he will send us a... He's supposed to be figuring and recording it all. Okay. So. All right, good. All right. So we have something to talk about this next Good luck tomorrow, Lord. Yep. Thank you very much. I'm going to see you in your truck. Hmm? I thought you were going to see me in your truck. There is, right now. All right, so I think oh. we're good with... You're doing the video. Well, we should, uh, actually, the food drive is listed under the highway transfer station. So we'll come back to it, though, because the Chief Brother put us here, so... Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Oh, right. Yeah, Chief. Okay. Go on up, Chief. Whatever you want to do. Um, because welfare is down at the bottom. I always just, I'm sorry. I might muddy the water. So if you want to do something first. No. <laughs> he opens first. Do you receive <coughs> correspondence from the city of Dover on the Services or services yes. for next year? Yeah, I want more. Uh, they have a lot more money, don't they? And it's still made up to Ed, so send it to him. Like, it's been for years. This one? I haven't seen it, but Caroline told me that she had received some. I hadn't seen that, so I was. Do we have to pay this year's now? Dover's probably aware of their budget year is from July to June. It's not like ours where it's in January to December. So I just got it in the mail for this day. And uh, for this year's services, and that's what he owed me out for number 1341 to the city of Dover for our dispatching services for 2017. April. Eight hundred eight dollars. Six thousand and eighty six dollars. Six thousand and eighty six dollars. And you have? To, can I see the report? Do you have the expenditure report? Yes. I don't even think it's on the floor yet, is it? That's what I'm doing for it. Okay, thank you. I'll move purchase order number 1341 to the City of Dover for dispatching services for 2017. The amount is $6,086. Second. There you go. All right, questions? I don't actually see this here. Is it yours? What, what is the line? Answering service. Correct. It's, it's hidden in there under. Maybe we should put slash dispatch. Yeah. All right, six thousand eighty-six. It's exactly what you budgeted for. You have no expenses. So, are we ready to call the question? Yes. All right. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Oh, it's just a matter of hundreds of dollars, right? Yeah. And we're not, it's too, it's too late. Okay. I think, I mean, it causes too many things that have to be redone.
Yeah. Whoever gets it. Who gets Carolyn? Oh, yeah. Okay. Fire Stacy or police leaves. Now highway leaves. I'm texting <laughs> Iowa where our well, firefighter get... is sitting right now. Is it en route or getting ready to leave? Okay. Okay. My Are we going to have a parade as it comes in the car? Come on, the cloak of darkness. No one really knows you. This is the last purchase order for any of the needs having to do with fire. Okay. And um, I have the final invoice from Tony, even though I made one out. That's sitting here. It's um, all set on that end of it. This is where I explained before on some of the change orders that we went through. Um, it was going to be built separately to Eastern Fire, who is Jerry McKay, who came in there when we started this whole process. Mm -hmm. That's his company. And this includes some of those change orders that we did. This is also going to be for the lettering. And uh, what we did was the city seal. I hope to bring it here, but I think there's one probably floating around. The city seal, we have with all the colors on it. Um, I know there's no vehicles in the community that have that. What we're going to do is we're going to take the city seal, instead of using the colors that are on it, because I wasn't very satisfied with it, we're going to have it remade in black and gold, and they're going to make some up and put them on the fire truck. But it's also be available if we want to go to any other time. And that's something that Jerry, with his people, does to most of the So it's kind of fun to encompass all of that stuff. Um, if you look at our trucks now, it just says wrong with the fire on the board. If you want to go more of a traditional town kind of thing, it's something that was done by the community for that seal. So we want to put it to good use and stuff right now. So well, that's included in this. So with the change orders, lettering and whatnot, this is a PO number 13, 30, goes to Eastern Fire, 3661. I had budgeted at 6 for all of this, so that was the original numbers. Does that make sense? And then with some of the adjustments that the coin made, and um, working with Jerry on these things, I think we well on what I had budgeted. Okay, good. Well, let's put it on the floor. We'll, we'll, we'll ask some questions. Uh, Move to accept purchase order 1330 to Eastern Fire Apparatus uh, for Engine 2. Final pricing for vehicle changes, lettering, and etc. for a total of $4,661. So. And that will come right out of the vehicle line. So. It still sits at 56, and that's 46. So there's, there's an extra money sitting there. Okay. That was my question. This, this, I just wanted to be reminded that this, this part's coming out of your operating budget. Correct. Okay, not out of the warrant. Nothing out of the warrant. Okay. All these other ones that I've used, I, I tried to explain, keep you as updated as I could before. Yeah. It was all that money for radios and all these other little shiftings of some of the things we wanted. It was all coming out of operating budget. We'll take a look at that. When, uh, Chief Rutherford's coming in on Thursday. Nine, and we're going to go through the terms and conditions of the grant that we're going to destroy the original block and that sort of thing. So we'll take a look at all of the finances associated with the warrant and just to make sure you know everything is in good shape. And <coughs> bless you, it is possible, it's possible that, that we might be able to shift some of this back to the warrant because of the grant. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Because the grant's coming in at 120. One, roughly. Run, a little under 110. 110. 109 and change. 109 and change, yeah. So, but I don't know, but you know, we've had to build some things to that in like the bond council and stuff, but I built that into the loan amount. So, but we'll take a look at all of that and okay. see. But everything that. But it can be covered by the operating budget, that's the yeah. important piece. Yeah, and that's what I was trying to make sure. You know, I'm trying to be very transparent and explain all that. The, uh, the radio and all the equipment for the car above the warrant was operating budget. The radio for the new fire truck was operating budget. And this here was all operating budget. And there's all the money is sitting there, and there's still going to be money yeah. to go right. and anticipated spending that is not going to happen. So there'll still be money coming. We can build a brine machine. <laughs> oh, brine machine. <laughs> yes, were you okay. here for the discussion? I kind of came in at the yeah. tail end. So I, I, I heard George talking about that before. Yes. But as we speak about that with the fire truck, right now, Captain Tuff 
sitting in Iowa. Wow. He went today and did the final inspection on the fire truck. Took for a test drive, uh, took the big three ring binder which we had had here, and he went through it line item by line wow. item by line item yep. to make sure it was exactly the specifications yep. that we wanted. And um, he was very, very impressed with the, uh, with the fire truck. As a matter of fact, he applied a word to it that I would not apply. He was looking at it this afternoon and said it is a gorgeous fire truck in person. I don't equate gorgeous with fire trucks, but he did. <laughs> Why not? That was this afternoon at 11. I went on and texted back all day between him and Jerry and the 20 people as we worked through the final. What do you Issues what do you think it. he will be starting to drive it back? Tomorrow. And how long do you think absent any Usually bad weather it could be some They can only drive so many hours a day. It's kind because of it's new, a break in, sort of a break in. Yes, but also like where a truck driver can only drive so many hours a oh, day. Oh, sure. Because people yeah. can only drive yeah, yeah. so many hours a day. Yeah. So, so it's, it's mostly the human constraint. Really. Exactly right. And what's happening is um, Davey's out there now. He's flying back tomorrow. Um, Berwick is out there tomorrow inspecting their two fire trucks. And the way Jerry McKay has it set up that if there's all pass, it's a convoy of three fire trucks headed east. And we anticipate that as being tomorrow. And then I was just texting the beginning because we were going to talk about the grant money and stuff. And my thing was, and, and Caroline and I were just talking about it, is when the clock starts ticking on the grant, because I know we applied for the That's extension. What and that's something we got. But she says, you know, once it gets here, you got like 10 days to get rid of it. It won't fit in 10 days. You can't. It's impossible. Well, there are terms and conditions, though. We're going to have to look at it. Yeah, it's, it's impossible for us. Well, I could say yes, but basically what would happen in the city, we wouldn't use it. Because there's no way in 10 days we can outfit and train people. I don't know that it's 10 days, but I know that there is a window. Yeah. And we went for the extension. I remember we Well, that's the whole grant. Yes. The grant. Okay. So that's the terms yeah. of the grant go to till then, but but there's another milestone that says once you accept the blah blah blah, then you have to blah blah blah. So I don't know what that window is. Okay. So well, we'll, we'll, we'll look at and and we we extended it till whenever we did the end of February because just in case the you know the fire truck didn't get here when we were thinking of lines. So. Yeah, we wanted that extra time. Yes. Yeah. You know, something was yeah. happening on, so on the construction. So we'll, we'll see, and then we can always check in with. Uh, DES too, and see what yeah. latitude there is. And okay, no, I, I understand where we're at with that. Yeah. That's, that's fine. We, we can make it work. It's just a matter of when we get to the point when I feel it's safe to call it in service, and that's yes. I mean, I, mean, I can take it around the block and I can pump it. I can put it in service myself in an hour. That's me. But I can't have. I will not accept that responsibility for all my personnel sure. until they so, have gone through a check. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so we'll figure out what, what, what makes their uh, meter start. Yeah. And it, it's not going to be just when it's here physically. It's like when when it's put in service. It's going to be something like that. I don't know exactly what the terminology is. So that will give, I think, give you some latitude, hopefully, and, and make you feel comfortable in in, in that. Yeah, but but we'll, I mean, we'll take a look. Even if it did start taking and say you got ten days, we can strip everything off the fire truck and send that on down the road. That's not a problem. And the only problem that I see is that we wouldn't have had two fire trucks in town in service. We wouldn't have right. And that's not a big deal because I would just contact some of our neighboring mutual aid communities and I'd say if there's an incident where we need more, like mutual mm -hmm. aid, or if we had multiple incidents, they won't recover for us. So I can't imagine that that's what is going to happen. I, I, I think. Have, I don't even. Yeah, but we'll sure. we'll we'll see what yep. what exactly the uh, terms and conditions are. We'll, yeah. Yep. Exactly. So, All right. But Dane just texted me and says if all goes well, um, she will be tomorrow sometime on the 20th. Whichever day the 20th is. Who's today? The 11th? It's going to be a Wednesday. Next Wednesday week, Wednesday. Is the 20th. It might be Wednesday. It's going to be different on Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, sit in, sitting down the street from here. So I I'm still sorry. have a purchase order. I still have a purchase order on the floor for four thousand six hundred and sixty one dollars. Are we ready to call the question? Yeah. All those in favor say aye. 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 aye.
Yeah. I know one of the groups, Caroline, you still want to stick to the Thursday thing, or do you want to try to do a time when she's going to be more ahead? I'm pretty flexible to me, for whether it's, I know your time frame was kind of, was kind of a constraint. But if you wanted to move it back till next week when the three of us can be there. Oh, I'd rather, rather have to, if there's know, going to be any it. kind of issue over the timing, I'd rather know sooner rather than later. Oh, I understand. And I just, I haven't looked at it. And I figured, well, I might as well, if I'm going to look at it, I might as well, might as well look at it together. Yeah. So I don't think Caroline is uh, available at all on Thursday, is that correct? I understand if we want to do it next like, um, Monday or Tuesday or... Uh, can we do it then this Wednesday instead? I mean, I, uh, I, I could do it like noon, noon. Yes, that's. I got to be early or late. Like how early? Like nine ish again? I could do nine on Wednesday. Can okay. we do nine on Wednesday? Okay. How about nine on Wednesday? Let's do nine on Wednesday. All right. Let's move it over. I mean, I have an appointment at eleven, but it, if it takes us two hours, we're in trouble. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wednesday at nine it is. Okay, that works for me. I just want to make I want to get you know so we're all on the same page and exactly. understand what's going on. Yeah. And then as far as uh, I know we're at the end of the budget year and you only have all the stuff in, I don't anticipate submitting any more POs or anything like that. Um, it's, it's pretty much taken care of. Excellent. Well, it's been a busy year, hasn't it? The last, the last few months have been crazy. I mean, we're still dealing with stuff. Um, uh, communication with two way this evening for the command vehicle taken care of, and that's nice. Does it come in? Yes. It's just sitting in the fire station. It's been in for. Yeah, he brought it. Sitting outside right now. Yeah, he brought it to the budget. Well, the budget committee um, meeting, I think. Yeah, it's here. We're using it. It's not outfitted yet. They were still waiting for some of the parts and pieces of components to come in. And they had talked to us tonight that, you know, I, I was under, and they had lead us to believe that as soon as it came in, they would kick me in. Well, as of tonight, we're saying, let's say the first week of January. Said, no, wait a minute. That's not what you originally told us. So All right. We'll barter back and forth on that. I mean, it's, it's not that it's a huge thing. A car is not able to use its car. It's not like it's a spaceship or anything. All right. We just got to get away from those and talk. Still dealing with that issue. So, and that's the other thing with the fire truck. I mean, we arrived the 20th, and it's still subject to like in service. Two way kind of has a cut in that because they have to install the radios. There's mm -hmm. nothing I can do with that until they do it. But we don't anticipate, you know, I hope they don't come back and say, well, we can't do it in the first of January because we discussed this with them a month ago, so we don't follow them. Matter of fact, now that I have a date, I'll push it up so you can, this is what you guys need to show up for a radio. Okay. It's been busy. <laughs> it has been a busy year. I think the grant, grant's probably the last major piece of our financing arrangements this, yeah. this past year. Otherwise, I mean, it's, the other things have sort of fallen into place. We have a few odds and ends to clear up at the transfer station, but Holbert's completely done. Good. Yeah. From the three large items. Three, three large four, items, four, yeah. From the disclosure. They are. Is that, is that 110,000 or do you want to get a grimy little <laughs> pause on? <laughs> well, whatever, we have to make sure that on our part that it's not there's going to be no hurdles. So Wednesday at 9, we'll start focusing on that. Yeah. And uh, from a cash flow point of view, I mean, it sounds like, Caroline, we're going to be fine. So remember last week I said, because the, the purchase order the contract is 450000 right? The, the bond is for. 344 or something like that. So the difference is made up by the by the grant. So, so we're going to pay, so that difference, because we're not going to get the grant right away, has to come out of our cash flow. And I remember I said maybe we need a short term loan. So I've talked to our treasurer, I've talked to Caroline, we're going to be able to float it ourselves but because of the time of the year that it is. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to just write the check for toying, you know, with no uh, deleterious impact on our cash flow and then the grant will just when we receive it slide right, slide back, right back into the general fund. Very good. Okay? Very good. Well, hold that smooth.
We're hoping. All right. Thank you. Okay. I think we're good. For anything for me. Cool. I think we're good. Other than we're trying to arrange a date for the uh, Department of Transportation and Safety people to talk um, about Portland Avenue. Portland, yeah, yeah, so yeah, I will let you know. Like we're going to look at some dates today, but it's the earliest is the end of January. And then there are a couple of possibilities in February. So we'll keep you posted okay. on those dates and hope that you can attend. It will be at a Monday meeting. Problem there. All right. Very good. Thank you kindly. Thank you. For our welfare director. Yes. So do we need a motion to go to non-public? Second. Roll call vote. Mike Gold. Yes. Joe Yes. 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 Reporting secretary to be signed. Maybe. I'm going to have to pay attention to what comes out of your mouth. I know. I don't know. Good Lord. 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 Welfare case 2016-004. The select board is recommending $170 in rental assistance. Second. All right. Any questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Right, thank you. Good night, Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Let's uh, go back to the food drive. I didn't forget it. So, so I thought the food drive at the transfer station that would show up yeah. in town administration. It's not as up there. So, did, did what, I, what did I just say? Transfer station? No, that's, that's the same, the same like highway yeah. slash transfer station. So, so this is a request to allow Orange to, to uh, solicit at the transfer station. And so uh, my recollection was hazy. I thought we had published something about any kind of solicitation at the transfer station. I don't remember. But in my mind, there's a distinct difference between politicking and poor rich kids asking for canned goods. I mean, right. you don't want electioneering. This is a non-profit. Yes. This is completely different. It does, and I, I agree, absolutely agree. No question there. But it, it does occur to me that at some point, if the, what's the, if the transfer station, if we get more people, more population, the transfer station is busy, there, you know, there are cars coming in and out and, and children and, you know, so from a safety point of view, at some point, we may want to think about that. But if you folks are good with... Well, I think that's why it might make sense to keep them by the, um, is it by the cardboard yeah. baler? So they're right at the beginning of that building. So if they have a so box or whatever, they sort just of like stand right in, in the, the entryway even. Yeah. Gets them out of the way Tell of them traffic. not to be walking around. Yeah. They have to stay in that section. It's probably the safest spot for them because yeah. it's behind yeah. phones. Okay. Yeah. It's, there's a stop sign right there. And I mean, it gives them a chance to go and warm up too. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just... Okay, so we're good with that. Or these kids are usually like, what, like 10, 10. or 14, sort of. I mean, they're not, you know. All right. Sounds good. I'll <coughs> be happy to let them know. No, she just wanted to sometime over the next two or three weeks, I think. Okay, so we'll just make sure she has George's email and can coordinate. Uh, all right, uh, ready to go on to town administration? So, uh, so I would like approval on the 2018 budget as we worked on on Saturday. So I pr I only printed out one copy. Um, uh, this is the exactly the same. I just scribbled over it. I sent it to you on yes. Saturday. So there's that. It is. Um, and this is the additional detail for specific lines. So that's part of it. Because on Saturday we are still waiting for a couple. Of yes. So here here's how that is going to look. So I'll reprint this and send out. Fresh copy. So it was the anticipated revenue, and it didn't change the anticipated revenue. It was just the reporting of actuals that we were missing. Right. So resident taxes through November 30th are 15,006. So we're anticipating 13,000. So what that does is it gives us comfort level if we under 
you know, we overestimate some of the other ones. So again, it's late in the game to be, you know, tinkering with, with that. So I'm happy just leaving it as such. The inventory panels penalties, uh, while we've only received 1,231, they come in with taxes. Right. And so the warrant, the warrant, however it is, we expect to collect about 13,000. So again, we, we were anticipating 10, we will collect, we'll collect 13. So there's another, assuming that the same thing happens in 2018, there's another 3,000. So it's just helpful to have a little bit of uh, sponginess on the on that side so that it will make up for anything else that they might be deficit. So those are the, so it will change in that respect. I will fill these in. Uh, you know, I may do some other formatting things, but if we're good with this, then I'll send it out to the budget committee this week and give you all a copy, just uh, another final copy. All right? Yep. Okay. I would like a vote on this just so that, you know, and you could say as reviewed on Saturday because there's been no change or as presented here either way. The bottom line number? Uh, yes, yeah. so the bottom line, and just on the, uh, I think on the operating and the total. Do you want a motion to move that we, we forward to the budget committee our 2018 budget with the grand total? We want to just the grand total now. Let's start with that. Uh, for proposed uh, appropriation of $2,512.00. $2,512,070, yes. And I would state, just let's state the operating budget piece as well, no problem. Sure. Sorry. I just screwed the first part up, and I screwed the second part up. Away. The grand total operating, where'd it go? Just above it. Oh, no. No, it's not there. Um, 262. Capital projects. Oh, it's off there. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Flip two more pages. Sorry. Uh, the uh, approved. Uh, why don't we start with? I'll move that we forward on to the budget committee our operating budget total of $2,130,130. And com combine grand total operating and capital reserve fund capital and reserve funds for two million five hundred twelve dollars five hundred wow two million five hundred twelve thousand and seventy dollars. I'm done making motions. So I'm Do I have a second? Okay. Any discussion? Comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 We'll bring it together. And thank you very much, board, for your patience uh, through this process. I appreciate that as well. There you go, Michael. And again, I will give it a final go around, you know, make sure all the formatting is good, the titles are, sh are fine, and then ship it off to the budget committee. And at the same time, I'll send you all. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Portland Ave, Church Street stormwater issues. Uh, so this is the, the complaint that we received from uh, Ms. Ebert on the Church Street property. So, uh, you know, under discussion is, you know, having George explore doing a swale in the spring. Mm -hmm. And then there's the possibility, you know, in January we plot out the year that we, you know, have Poyle Tanner come out and take a look at it with George and see or have George think about, you know, what he was talking about was, um, you know, we did a field trip in Dover with um, he, uh, Bill Belanger, who manages their, among other things, their stormwater stuff, but he, he manages more than that. And he has designed these storm drains that are pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, you know, perhaps we can put in something like that. Okay. But anyway, so what I'm, here, what I'm trying to do is get us to formulate a response to the secrets. So I'll tell her that our short-term plan is to try uh, is to build a swale down in the springtime. In the spring, I will say that in the spring, and then explore uh, engineering uh, the longer-term engineering uh, aspects of putting in a storm drain. Right. 
and there, there'll be, I'm not going to make any guarantee about that, just I'm going to use the word explore because we're not sure what it's going to cost when we can do it, et cetera, et cetera. Does that seem okay as a response? Yes. Well, it's pretty much what we told her in the fall, but unfortunately... Did we tell her? We talked to her in the fall. Well, you, you spoke with her? Yeah, we, went, oh. we did a site walk and everything. With her? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. I don't think... I, I thought we were just doing this yeah. ourselves. I didn't realize she was there. So, yeah, we walked, we walked the street and we saw that where there was no catch basins, and I'm like... Yeah, catch basins are needed, but this doesn't come up on the road plan for right. a couple of years. Church okay, so I was a well, long time. What I'll do is have you take a look at the, the draft, because I didn't realize that you had actually spoken with her. Yeah, this was in the fall. Okay. So, Remember I asked Tom to go out and look? Yes, but I... the I, house next to them was doing construction. Yes, I guess I didn't know that... I didn't know that she'd been, how much involved she'd been in, in the discussion. I guess it's yeah. probably, yeah. All right, so. That one hour doesn't have anything to do with it. Tri oh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, agenda got screwed up. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know if there was something else. Yeah, was saying, actually, Portland Avenue shouldn't be there because it's farther down. Okay. So that should just say Church Street, okay. stormwater issues. <laughs> All right. Sorry. No. Yeah, no wonder. I would have been confused, too. All right. So I'll, 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 I'll draft something, and in particular, I mean, I'll send it to all of us, but in particular, Jody, if you take a look at it and yeah. um, see if, in light of the conversation you've actually had with her, um, if you want to make any uh, changes or edits. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, DES uh, water district violation. So if you recall, we had we had a, a, a mail, a, not a mail, a, a letter from DES that was copied to us about a, a violation that they found and that they were telling the water district to post it um, ASAP on the public notice. Is that and, a recent violation? Uh, it was maybe about a month ago. Maybe you were not here when we got it. I don't know. And so we've asked Tom to follow up to to check in with them to make sure that they posted this. And he has not had a response, and so he tried email today. I think he may have copied you yeah, on that email. Okay. okay. So we're that's the extent to which we're following up. It's okay. you know, they're the ones who should be posting it and taking care of it. I mean as health officer, he's doing you know, we're you know, <coughs> by and by our health officers doing what we can to ensure that it happens. Okay. Um, elderly exemptions warrant article. So um, I don't know where this is. I know that you've sent us some data. Uh, oh, yes. I talked to uh, Jim Workman uh, this weekend with regard to the veterans credit and his mother and the life, you know, the, right. the life interest, blah, 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 to get that all straightened out so that I think the, we'll, we'll see the abatement mm -hmm. in, yeah, in one of the folders tonight. But he had also asked, if you recall, about uh, reviewing the exemptions and perhaps changing either the threshold um, for getting one and for what they get if they uh, do get an exemption. So I sent him uh, what you found and he said he'd look at it and, and, and give us a, an opinion. So, so I thought, well, that, that sounds good. <laughs> uh, and obviously the board, it doesn't guarantee that the board will go ahead, but we'll let him know soon enough so that if the board does say no, then he can, he can do a petition. Okay. All right? That's where I let that stand. And I also offered that, you know, you could make, you know, maybe he could, because you would offer to kind of work on this thing, so he may call you or he may just do something on his own and just give it to us. My recollection of the information that Jody provided, it was by county, right? It was pretty exhaustive information. Yeah. That it, we're right in line with every other community, most of the other communities in Stratford County. I didn't think that we were that bad. We, I, I in fact, we were higher it. than than uh, a number of communities in Stratford County. I looked at it really quickly, but when I looked at it, you know, I expected us to be at the bottom of the heat, and we weren't at the Not bottom even of the close. Heat. So, I think we're so right in line where it we should be. It's pretty extensive about all the things. Like mm -hmm. some towns offer things that we don't offer, mm -hmm. and it was, it, was great, it was great information. But yeah. I, I didn't think that we were out of line at all, actually. I thought, I, I just assumed we probably were. 
Yeah, me too. Well, I just right based but on what people were told. Not in the least, but I mean, from the information you provided. And, and second of all, Mr. Workman's not a resident of this town, is he? No, he he wouldn't be doing the petition. Yes, no, I was going to say, okay. But it's his father. I mean, oh, it's his eighty one year old father. Well, that's He's great, to help. And you know, if do you, do you see a problem with someone looking at data? No, and no, no, not at all. I just want to make sure that he's not, he's not, he's not doing the petition because he's not a resident. Right. That's all I'm asking. Correct. He did ask how many signatures, 25. I mean, it's not a, it's not a big threat. It's not a big bar for anyone to walk across. Mm -hmm. Any other comments or questions on that? Okay. Um, Oak Street Boundary, we're tabling. I doubt that anyone will be able to perambulate now that the snows have come. Uh, paid employees, we're tabling. Um, highway safety, Portland Avenue, all right, safety review. So this is a follow-up uh, on the UETA's request to reopen mm -hmm. Highway Safety on Portland Avenue. And, uh, and we talked about it uh, when you were not here, I think, Michael. And so. Um, I said that I'd go ahead and, and invite uh, Bill Lambert from DOT. So I did that. Mm -hmm. saw those emails. He, uh, the dates that he is offering, um, and we talked about a Monday meeting at 7 o'clock, okay. are January 22nd, February 5th, and February 12th. So I didn't know whether we all knew. Uh, any of those dates work for me. I, I should be here. Twenty second, what was it? Fifth and twelfth. They're all Monday. I mean, so yeah, fifth yeah. and twelfth. Twenty second, fifth yeah. and twelfth. Yeah. No problem. So maybe what I'll do is, and Herb, I heard that from Herb, and he said they're all fine with him. So I may just go for the first one, and then yeah. ask him to hold at least one of the others as a snow date. Mm -hmm. All right. Credit card for the janitor. We just talked about this last week, but we didn't really come to any uh, conclusion. I think um, I don't know whether you, you wanted to look at the policy again. I don't remember where we left it with you, but what we're what we're uh, and the parenthetical comment about equipment use is something else and not has nothing has to do with credit cards, but not the credit card for the janitor. Okay. So you know he buys supplies and he's been he's, buying. He's doing the coordinated purchasing. He's doing that, he? Yes. Yep. Makes sense to me. So, are we good with uh, issuing um, mm -hmm. yeah, Richard a credit card? Yeah. All right, I will let Caroline know. Okay, now the parenthetical comment, when I was reading the minutes, I think you mentioned something about. You can't use the card for equipment. I think it came up in regards to something else. Yes. So I was just happy to be reading it here. Can you read it? Can I see it again? Yeah. Okay. Equipment. So what that doesn't, what our policy doesn't do is, is define what equipment is. Right. right. It doesn't capitalize it. What is it? So that's the only point that I wanted to make sort of public is that while we say you know, you can't buy equipment. We don't really say, is this like what, what defines equipment and right. this sort of thing. So, but nonetheless, if they can, there's an upper limit. What is it, 200? So if they call something a piece of equipment, it's only $200, I'd say we don't have a problem. Right, yeah, right. And you pretty much are going to buy something with a credit card that's $500 compact machine or whatever. Then they need our approval anyway. And Correct. Then we can offer that. Correct. Yeah. Just wanted to be clear. Yeah, no, it's true. I, I agree with that. And I, but the way the minutes read, it wasn't clear. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to take this opportunity. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's what we had said. Yeah. But I wanted to take the opportunity to clarify what equipment meant and what we were trying to, to do. So I think I'm good. Uh, the Avatar contracts, I haven't had time to look at it or to talk about it, so unless anybody else has a comment on that, we'll table it. Uh, the next one, the land use change tax. So let's get sort of get everybody on board with uh, where we are on that. 
So we received a letter from uh, Mr. Phipps's attorney. It's all here, Michael. And so the question is, really, uh, as a next step, do we uh, do we want to um, give this to? We actually have given it to Chad. We did move it forward to Chad. Avatars come back and continue to say, I believe it should be denied. That's where we are. I forgot. Mm -hmm. uh, that it's no longer being, it no longer follows the current use uh, regulations. Mm -hmm. So what the board has to decide is whether we are going to accept Avatars' recommendation. If, if we do, then we will respond like that to uh, Mr. Phipps or through his attorney and and if they have my guess is if they want to appeal that that they would then go to the tax uh, court is that so to the, um, uh, yes the, the tax court of appeals with tax and land use or so the land use tax appeal yeah, yeah. But it's, it's a very long name yeah I know what you're talking about but it's as part of the contract he would represent us there yeah so the, 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 the rub is that they're using it for um, Compost. composting, and that's not a, um, in the current an accessible use, use under right. current use law. Uh, that, and that's one piece of it. There's actually more. If you want to spend the time to read it, Michael, because you were away, yeah. uh, I'm okay. happy giving you, well, I'm happy giving him some time to take a look at the attorney's letter. First, that's five, which, 20. How long? Have, yeah, how long? Like have now? Yeah. So. Now, ten, five minutes. Oh, that's what I meant. <laughs> so that we could proceed. Not. No, I mean it's, 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 the issue hasn't changed, right? Since. Correct. November, right? He had his, but the attorney in the attorney's letter, the attorney mentioned some other uh, regs, some other RSAs, and what Avatar came back and said, well, yes, but that those RSAs hold sway in this situation. All right. And yes. In that, in, under those RSAs, compost is referred to as an agricultural use. But over here, in the current land use regs, you have to follow the, the uses that the current land use set out as acceptable, and composting isn't one of them. That's my understanding of yes. Chad's response. And that's actually not Chad, it's Avatar's response. Right. You just call it that. Yeah, so we're going Oh, this was back in this was back in September. If Chad's or if Avatar's no, no, I'm, yeah, it's Chad's oh, okay. or Avatar. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's going through. Yeah. Mr. Phipps's attorney's uh, number of letters that they sent. This is all stuff we've seen already. And has our um, has our legal counsel seen this as well? No. So, you know, Avatar represents us at that court, right. and it's part of the contracted price. It's for no, no no additional expense, mm -hmm. and so we've been kind of following that that pathway. Do you think we should? I was just, just asking. Yeah. Question. No, so, we haven't. They keep saying. We, we did for, for we other, did for other properties. yes because they were yep. it was related to other things that they were unhappy with us about so it, it kind of lumped in in that regard but not this one we talked about it yeah but we decided oh no let's 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 let Avatar come because we that's what we pay them for okay that's true yeah. and we don't pay it's part of the contract that we've already paid so it's not not additional dollars. Okay. It's not an approved use. It's not an approved use, and I don't. I can't. I can sympathize. All I, I want, simp yeah, I sympathize too. Point. It's not. You know. It's. You know. I sympathize. It's an abrupt change, and an expensive one. But Indeed. if that's what the re you know, that's what the regulations say. All right. So we're we good with. with uh, I'll draft some kind of a letter in response and say that. Um, we are going with our the recommended approach of our assessing company.
joint loss job descriptions. You saw I had to I had to say that oh yeah you did send them to me. So I, I need to have a little bit of time to scour some of my files to see if I can find them. The tax the tax collector and the admin assistant. Yeah, and when, when we asked for cellmates, you said that it wasn't. I forgot your exact wording, but. Sal, we find Sally to be a recording secretary. But she also does work in the office, so that makes her like an assistant assistant. I don't even know what your job title would be. Well, but it's, it's, here's how I would describe it. And, and again, sometimes we, we think of those budget lines as, as positions, and they're not necessarily positions. They're not necessarily tied to one person. So when we conceived of that line for administrative and clerical support, it was for generally administrative and clerical support. And we were going to pay our recording secretary out of that line, who was Salme. And Salme then, I don't exactly know, know how, offered to do some administrative clerical support, but not necessarily, there's not a, a position, really. I don't know. I don't know but, how else to say it. The it's, whole point of wanting job or us wanting job descriptions was so that we would have something to go by for an annual review. Right. So, if she's doing more than just secretary work, we need a job description for that. We have one for people that run the compact, and we have one for people that run the mailer. Right. So think of it. You know, I don't mean to interrupt, but I did. Sorry. Um, separate the, the individual. Whoever is in the in the position or doing the work, there should be some sort of description as to what responsibilities and expectations we we would want that person to to fulfill. I mean. It's, at the moment, we have one person sort of filling in who's our recording secretary. As you said, that line isn't tied to one individual. We could have three people. Yeah, it's coming kind of in, a you know I mean? sort of. So, wouldn't we want to have an overarching sort of boilerplate description of what the an administrative assistant or assistant assistant or whatever you're titling it right. would do, right? I mean, I, that makes sense to me. I mean, I'm not volunteering to write it, but I'm just saying it makes sense to me that. Well, I uh, think we're going to find this going to be very generalized. It probably would be, yeah. You know, because yeah. they're not, it, it, there isn't. Yeah, a lot of at will of. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. At least it it's a start. At least it's a guideline. At least it's something to go by. It's at least yeah. it's something to say. And it's not just a, I mean, it could be filled yeah. by two or three. Right, well, that's my point. In, yeah. You know, yeah. 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 Okay. Filing. Um, all right. Pulling the okay. courts, pulling So we'll ask Carol to do that. You know, getting tax records, getting tax maps. I think we're, we're, for consistency's sake, we're, we're, we want to have them across the board for all departments. It would make sense to me. But It does. This one just seems a little more of an ad hoc sort of thing. I, I don't know, But I think we can write something up now that I hear <coughs> some of these conversations. Yeah. Okay. Um, so do you want somebody to do that? No, I want Caroline to, to do that, I think. Okay. I mean, she can review it with Sally, right? Something's like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably do that. Well, I'm happy to have you do it. I just didn't want to. I think it, the easiest thing is just to whatever Caroline needs doing. Yeah, that's kind of what it is. But we can also, uh, you know, we, we could do a general purpose for the next, for the next right. and for the next Caroline. Exactly. Right. No, you're absolutely right. Remember, we're not tying it to a person. Exactly. We're not tying it to a person. And we're not tying it to a board. Correct. So, exactly. when, Correct. when Celia's up here, she's going to need to know these things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Um, I think that we're at our standing items, unless I've missed uh, something. So, board member activities and updates. 
I had a rec meeting last night. Our next rec meeting is sometime in January, end of January, January 21st, I believe. Yes, January 21st at 7. Um, just trying to navigate um, putting two camps together and keeping them separate at the same time. Um, and Lamprey is, does not have another date yet um, set for final review of the budget that usually, they usually give us about a week's notice. <laughs> um, and EMS is needing, pardon my step on this, uh, Oh, the emergency management? Review? Yes, uh, January 22nd at 10 a.m. So with regard to Lamprey, and in, in particular the truck, trucking cooperative, um, so what, what, um, what Jody discovered for us is that, or helped engineer, is that we will continue to pay the same uh, mileage as we get charged for mileage. So even though the truck is going to be housed in Epping, we will continue to pay whatever the mileage was from Madbury and its round trip to Right. So that's a good thing. Yeah. The other, the other piece that that um, came out was that the trucking cooperative, not the entire, not the lamprey, but the truck, a little smaller trucking cooperative, is thinking of disbanding okay. the following year. Great, buying out the truck. Yes, buying out the truck. Correct. So at that point, we will need to mm -hmm. budget for that. Yeah. The repairs on the truck were over and above what was budgeted. So. They were going to put down a eighteen thousand dollar payment on the truck this year, and they don't think they're going to be able to do that. So once we get that figured, we'll know what the we'll know, and yeah. then they're going to take that, divide it up. It's not going to be divided by five. It's going to it. Um, it's going to be divided by your usage. So the bigger towns will pay more of that lump sum. Mm -hmm. The smaller towns like us in Northwood will pay lesser of that lump sum. Okay. But it's divided by five, and then accordingly by usage. Yep. Okay, so, and, you know, it, we'll, we'll have had a full year of, of uh, hauls uh, with our new regimen of having two, you know, only doing full loads, maybe uh, compacted more, maybe the some of our other, uh, not recyclables, but the demolition stuff and whatever, compacted more. So we'll see. We'll, we'll have a better idea of the number of hauls that uh, we'll, need, we'll need so that when we start to think about where else to go, uh, we'll <coughs> see what that, what impact it will have on our budget. Okay, uh, Michael. Oh well, uh, the planning board was canceled, which made me very happy. I was convalescing. I at think home. The, the, the the phrase is postponed. It was postponed. You're absolutely right. Until January, the applicant postponed. wasn't prepared. Um, his engineer wasn't going to be available apparently again, so there was really no point in having the same conversation we've had two other times with the same person. So the meeting was postponed. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, I think the meeting is January second, I think. Oh, wow, that's right after New Year's Day. <laughs> that's Tuesday. Yeah, yeah it'll be the first Tuesday of the month. So yeah, January second will be the planning board. Okay. And so just for my planning purposes. Do we have an idea on what we're uh, thinking about doing for Christmas week and New Year's week? And both of those days fall on our Monday. Oh, well, that's a good thing to, to talk about. Well, that's right. so let's, yeah, that, that's a very good thing to talk about. So, um, next week's meeting? You, you I will not be. Okay, so we'll be. God um, willing, I'll be here. Okay, so the so 18th, Michael and I will be here. If you uh, cannot make it, just let me know. I, I, and I'm going to be away over uh, Christmas week, so do we want to try to get, let's see, so we will be meeting the 18th. Uh, we could try to do something like the 28th, maybe, and then, then go to the 8th of January. Hmm. I can... I can do it in the evenings. I'm working till five both days. Well, we could do it like six thirty. I was thinking just a oh, okay. regular meeting at, at six thirty on the twenty eighth. I could do six thirty on the twenty eighth. 
Okay. Sally? The 28th, um, it's a Thursday. Thursday. Sorry. I cannot do that. Okay, so we'll see if Corey mm -hmm. can do that. Well, we can also, I mean, it could be an abbreviated meeting. We don't have to have a full meeting. It could be for department heads to come in the public if they want to tell us something, but, or ask for something. The department heads to have last minute PO, the PT, POs and things like that. Well, I hope I mean, not. Well, I, I agree, but, you know, it's, it, it wouldn't be up, it so. wouldn't be an FY, right? It just wouldn't be an FY seventeen purchase order, mm -hmm. but right. Um, let me let me just take notes. So what did I say? Thursday. Thursday the twenty eighth at six thirty. Twenty eighth six thirty. Not meeting on Christmas Day. Not meeting on New Year's Day. And the fall the next meeting would be January. Is it eighth? Is that what the calendar says? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And we would need. Uh, to arrange for Corey on 1227. And you see, and if we need a, new, a meeting within that week, we can always post as long as it's 24 hours. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot to mention also um, the Space Needs Committee, the, the Police Space Needs Committee is meeting on Thursday night. This week. This week, right. over um, across the hall, because right. the ZBA apparently is meeting. Um, not Thursday evening in this room. Okay, and on Wednesday the budget committee is meeting, but not here. We're at the school. It's the school piece of it. My calendar. And, and then our budget goes in front of the the twenty. Yep. Okay. So I'll send that out this week as soon as I can. And the other, the only other thing is, uh, as you know, I'm meeting with Chief Rutherford on this week to kind of go over the terms and conditions of the grant. Yeah. And there's SRPC on. Friday, actually, that I have. So, that's a monthly meeting. All right, so that's, that's it. I think that's what we're up, what we're doing, out, <coughs> out and about. Uh, so now it's building permits. Nope, we, have we have We have that. We have one abatement. Okay. Um, the town of Rollins is the collector of taxes served by a vote of the select board upon the application of the Workman Revocable Trust, Kelly Hubbard and James Workman Trustees. Uh, we have abated the principal amount of $500 on December 4, 2017, for property located at Map 5-14-0, also known as 23 Kelvin Drive, for the 2017 uh, period two tax year. The cause of abatement. In September of 2016, the town began the required audit of elderly exemptions and veterans' credits as mandated by the New Hampshire Department of Administration. Uh, Mrs. Workman had failed to return requested documentation in a timely manner, and the elderly exemption and veterans credit were removed uh, from the 2017 property tax billing. Mrs. Workman has since provided the select board in assessing officials with the required documentation. It has been determined that Mrs. Workman does not qualify for the elderly exemption as her income exceeds the amount allowed to qualify for the same. However, after review by the town council, a copy attached, Mrs. Workman does qualify for the veterans credit. Accordingly, the uh, Board of Selectmen requests the tax collector to begin a, begin the process of beginning balance abatement in the amount of $500 on Map 514-0 per order of the select board. And we just have to sign it. We have to vote on it to sign it. I think we are all ready to sign it. That's all I have. Chief Rutherford was referring to a 3.5% increase for dispatching services, um, which will um, increase to $213 above and beyond the six. 3.1%. I'm sorry. Um, for 2018, um, it'll be a 3.5% increase for a total of $6,299 which is an increase of $213. Um, this is a uh, 
request for disbursement um, for our treasurer. Okay, I'm happy to sign that. Unless there's an objection from the board. Municipal Assessment Data Certificate. Okay, so this is a DRA certificate, and it says that uh, the sale, the assessment and sales information that we provided to them via Avatar has been thoroughly reviewed and is complete and accurate. So. Actually, it'll be even thinner next time because we've got the thick. Did, I get it? Did you take it back? The, uh, no, it's sitting. Oh, yes, I do have it. So yeah, the current use sheet. Yeah, you should keep that yeah. in there. Just the one sheet that we're just Yeah, I think so. But there's a cover thing this here. cover sheet goes for that. Together. Yeah. Excellent. That is it. That's it for standing committees. Uh, community, any comments, questions? Yes, yeah, Celia. Um, Church Street was recently done, like in the last five years. What do you mean by? What do you mean when you say it was done? repaved in the last five probably years? Probably overlaid, maybe. I don't okay. know the answer really, but it probably. I was wondering, um, when you're talking engineering studies, does that mean the possibility of tearing it back up again and? Looking under it? I no, I don't think so. I think that um, you know we have you know part of one of the things that we're trying to do with regard to stormwater is to map the drainage system. So hopefully we don't have to dig anything up to do that, but that that will also help us to figure out where we might want need to put a drain and where it would connect and this this sort of thing. So. Um, but, I mean, you know, it, when the drain, it, if, if the solution at some point, whenever that drainage is installed and that turns out to be the solution, then yes, there'll, there'll be some patching and patchwork. But I mean, you know, they, they did that, that's what we did with the culverts. The road was torn up and then part of it is making sure that the pavement is, you know, um, feathered back in, paved and feathered back into the road itself, so. Um, if you drive down, church in Washington, the area that's really affected is getting all the water coming down off of the hill on Washington Street because there's no drain on this side of that hill. The only drain is on the other side of the hill in front of my property, then there's one on Franklin. Um, and so we're on the list for 2026 to have the roads redone at that time. So hopefully when those roads get redone, drainage will be looked at at the same time. Thank you. Sure. Sorry. Please do. Uh, so we met last night. We're having a hard time finding a quorum. So Celia emailed us today about um, changing members to alternates and removing alternates that haven't. She's kept a quite the spreadsheet of who's attended and who hasn't. I mean, that's fine. So I mean, do you want to make a motion or? or that with regard good. to who should be considered. Well, yeah. Oh, you have that right in front of you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. So, so you're you're changing the uh, you're denoting that certain people are full fledged members and others are going to be alternates. We're moving full fledged members to alternates, so this way we can make a quorum 
along with the members? No, I would say if you made a motion about what it is you wanted to do. Okay. That would be good. Okay. So uh, I'd like to make a motion to um, current members of the budget committee move to alternates. Uh, Rep Correct. Rep Rep committee. Rep 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 Oh, rec committee to alternates of Blythe Hammond, Roxanne Carl, and Dan Col Colton? Colody. Colody. Um, current alternates to be removed are Shana Jarvis and Kelly Haynes. Alternates to remain the same of Denise Knowles. Um, and we have potential new members, but they haven't submitted anything final. I said they had to submit something because they really wanted okay. to. So can you email that to Salme? I will. Yeah, that would be great. And to me, and do, do we have a second on that, Michael? Second. I'm just thinking. Second. Okay. Uh, and what are you thinking, Mike? So think, uh, uh, we I, I, it's fine. It. Let's just do it. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it another night. But it, if it's... So there's a first and a second to uh, accept the changes in position that Jody provided, and I will call a question on those in favor say aye. 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 And just please email them to Sally and to, to me as well. Okay. All right, back to community input. My question was going, my next question was going to be, should changes to committees happen as they arise? Because we've had one or two people who have left the committee or should it wait until March? Uh, and this may be some of what Michael is trying to think about, too. I mean, uh, you know, for, for other committees that are, you know, that don't have RSA-related duties, constraints, whatever, I mean, I don't know how formalized the operations of those committees needs to be. But the one way in which the REC committee is different is that it does give us um, guidance on running programs that cost the town money and that open up the town to certain exposure. So um, I, I don't have, I would say bring them when you have them, and but we will be doing an overall review in March of all the committees. And we'll be letting people know usually in January that these are the things that we see as openings. I mean, we haven't defined terms for people. I mean, it just isn't that kind of a committee. So, so I don't think you need to define terms. We'll just put out the membership and the alternates as we know them, and then you know, you can let us know if you want us to appoint someone. And Michael is going to be thinking about this. Anything else for the community? I just have a quick question. What time Thursday night is the space needs? Seven okay. I think. And that's when zoning usually is. Six o'clock. Sorry, six o'clock. Six. Okay. And zoning's usually at seven. I honestly don't know. Okay. I think they are. I don't know. I didn't even know they were meeting. Hmm. Well, Caroline said, "Can you, can you, you know, cross the hall?" Can we notice? There should be. Why well, didn't look? I don't. Know. I didn't. Anything else? No. All right. We ready to adjourn board? All right. Thank you very much, everyone. <coughs>